Hello guys, my name is Jack and today we'll be talking about Mercruiser fuel filters and the advantages and disadvantages of using either OEM or aftermarket brand or our newly released product, our in-house brand. Now today we're also going to be talking about a few other things. The demerit of ethanol inside fuel as well as the value of having a quality filter. So, in gasoline engines, unlike gas cars, gasoline boats use a lot more fuel, usually in gallons per hour instead of miles per gallon. So in a boat, let's say you, are ha you have a 350 mag MPI. Your maximum is about 22 gallons an hour. Well, if you think about a car, you can use 22 gallons in a couple weeks. 22 gallons for a boat can happen in an hour. Due to this, these fuel filters are significantly more used than an automotive application due to how many gallons an engine will run in 100 hours. So we're going to take a look at some examples of some clogged fuel filters. So we're going to take a look at this fuel filter right here and you can actually see um, the distinct line of dirt where this is. So this filter is almost completely used. Now you see we have a little bit of room left. This is the usable media area where it's light colored where this filter has not filled and plugged up with dirt. Now when we compare it to a filter like this, this is a filter that's been used but is extremely clean. We can see because we do not have the contamination we have here. Now there may be larger bits of debris that don't get soaked into the paper, but for the majority of this filter it is clean. We can see a little spot here. This is most likely where the fuel is entering the cool fuel module. Here we have our lower filter for our cool fuel 3 module and you can see that this one is absolutely nasty. Same with this one. You can tell that this is a much older filter because it has started to yellow but this one that is clean and white is just as dirty as the one on the one right here. One of them's just newer and one of them's older. This filter is actually out of a PCM. Now, the filter is a very good quality. This is actually an OEM PCM filter, but we can see how the pieces of this filter have come apart. This is due to something called ethanol in our fuel. We can just kind of squish this filter around and it starts breaking apart into pieces because, you can see all the way around here, because of the ethanol that has been put into the fuel. Now this fuel filter is actually very clean. We don't see a lot of dirt in it, so the boat never really ran a whole lot of debris through it, but it did have a lot of ethanol sitting in it. So, ethanol really deteriorates our fuel systems, as well as debris. Now we want to talk about micron ratings and how they affect your gasoline engines. This right here, this is an injector filter. So is this, and so is this. Their average micron rating is anything from 20 micron to 40 micron for the screen that is in here. Now, as far as standard 10 micron filters go on like a Mercruiser Cool Fuel 2, those are perfectly acceptable filters. Now for Bosch EFI, they say that they need 87% filtration on their filters or on their injectors and that the injector should be fine with 87 percent filtration. Now as far as the OEM goes they're a really good filter. As far as aftermarket goes we can talk about this. This is a Chinese filter. So is this right here. Now we do see they have these beads just like um, the ones in the OEM and they do look very similar to OEM level products, but it comes down to micron rating, the size of particle that you can remove from the fuel. Now these never filtered out a lot of particles. They were actually rated a 30 micron filter. Now that is not enough for the EFI systems that we have today. 30 micron is not enough. It will clog injectors. 30 micron is enough for carbureted applications. We have our OEM filter. In the comments below, guess how many microns uh, 
this OEM filter is before we actually release the data. We have all the data, we have paid a lot of money to find testing and research in these filters. But for the OEM set, we have a primary and secondary filter. The reason we try to go into microns and why they matter is because when this clogs, you can actually cause an engine to lean and burn up. Lean out and burn up from a lack of fuel. Now, we want to prevent that as much as possible. So how do we do that? We remove contaminants from the fuel. Now this usually is a replacement item from a cruiser about once every 300 hours. We recommend more like once a year, whenever it occurs. This is now S&J's new filter that we've, we're about to release here in about a month with a primary filter. So here's a primary filter from our testing when we had the Chinese ones. That's a primary filter. You can see how dirty that looks. This is a primary filter from ours. The primary filter has to, or the secondary filter, my bad, I've been calling it primary, has to do a lot less, but you can actually see our primary filter right here. You can see how clean it is on the ends because of the amount of glue that we use. Um, this filter is actually much better than what OEM would be. So almost the secondary filter does nothing to pretty much eliminate a lot of the problems that we seem to have between all kinds of filters. What we will do is we will lower the micron rating, meaning that microns will go up. So the factory one, then ours, and then aftermarket. There's another aftermarket company out there, you might know of it, their micron rating is much less than Mercruiser's. They're usually a pretty reputable brand, but if you use their filter, your engine will have issues in the long run with clogging injectors. The micron rating of a regular Mercruiser filter with its secondary filter included is approximately 15 micron. Now we have our testing here. We actually did a lot of testing on these, so we'll zoom in here. This is the OEM filter right here. So what we're going to be taking a look at is mainly this box right here. Now we also have these right here, which tell us our overall filtration efficiency. So on our overall filtration efficiency, what we want is 87% at 8 micron, right? So we're going to check what we're seeing is our initial efficiency, our minimum efficiency, as well as our overall efficiency. If we take a look, this is our 8 micron right here. It, our initial is 83.49, so 80, 80, 83 and a half. Our minimum is 78.3 and our overall is 91.7. Now that may sound good, but that means at certain points, particles in a larger stream than what the injector is able to accept are actually going into the injector. Now, because of that 91.7%, this is technically an, an acceptable filter over the entire range of what we're doing. This is a Mercruiser standard application fuel filter. So for this, we also have our 99% efficiency, which our overall is 15.83, so this would be rated at a 15 micron unit. Now, if we go here, this is our new fuel filter setup. Now ours is a little bit different. If we go to our 8 micron rating, our initial efficiency is 99%, with minimum efficiency being 97.75, with our overall being 98.81. So we're removing all the eight mi almost all the 8 micron particles out of the fuel that are possible. So that means that anything 8 micron and below, or 8 micron and above, is pretty much getting eliminated. This will lower your downtime because your injectors will clog less often. And this also helps uh, because you're getting rid of a lot of the contamination that may potentially be coming into your fuel system. Now if we take a look at our 99%, um, our actual initial is 8 micron with it being an 8.3 micron overall efficiency. Now for 99.5, it's 9.26. 
Now we're going to rate this pretty much at a 10 micron, though it's more close to an 8 micron filter. We will try as much as possible to help prevent problems in your Mercruiser product as, as much as we can. Now, the OEM is the, has been the best out there ever since pretty much the beginning. Any kind of aftermarket, I won't say what name, but the name brand you can get from West Marine or the aftermarket brand you can get that also makes a lot of manifold and a lot of aftermarket parts from a cruiser is not up to their standard. Neither is anything you buy off eBay or Amazon. All those, unless they're OEM, are not rated enough to be able to filter the particulates out that we need in a Mercruiser application. Because of that, we have developed our own filter. This filter is a synthetic media. Of course, you already saw what our micron efficiencies are, and we will post these online on our website so you can go and check them out and see what the actual efficiency is for yourself. These filters, in comparison to OEM, have almost exactly the same holding capacity as OEM and we meet or exceed their micron rating so that we can give you the best filtration possible on the market today. Hey guys, we work really hard to try to bring you these videos so if they help you at all please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and we'll try to help as much as we can. Thank you so much.